Hey YouTube friends, are you wondering about how to choose the best pillow for a neck and shoulder problem? You might be having trouble sleeping at night and you might have even bought a few pillows and you're trying to figure out well, which, what's the best one. I, I don't really find a huge difference between the low end one or the high end one. Uh, there's all these options, there's different fillings for pillows, different shapes for pillows. Uh, there's, there's all kinds of features out there on pillows and it's hard to understand which one is the best one for your specific neck and shoulder problem. My name is Dr. David Midoff. I'm a specialist physical therapist over at El Paso Manual Physical Therapy, and I've been helping out people with neck and shoulder problems for years now. I've been talking about pillow recommendations this whole time as well, and we've come up with some great guidelines on how to pick you know, the best pillow for your neck and shoulder problem. So I'm gonna share those with you today here. Let's break this down. The number one question you got to start with is what is your preferred sleeping position? Are you more of a side sleeper? Do you sleep on your back or do you tend to sleep on your stomach? Now, whenever I ask that question, the first answer I get is a little bit of everything. Sometimes I start on my side and then I end up on my back or I start on my stomach and then I end up on my side or I start on my back and then I end up on my stomach. We, we get all kinds of mixed things. And what I'll go with on this is where do you start usually? Where do you start to fall asleep? How do you get most comfortable? Um, that is what I would look to optimize for. So it, if you're a back sleeper, if you start sleeping on your back, then you have to consider whenever you lie on your back, you know, how rounded is your back? How soft is your mattress? And how far up from the bed is your head? In other words, if your back is, is kind of flat, you have a flatter back, and you lie down and your head's kind of comfortable on the, on the bed, then you might even be able to get away with no pillow or a thin pillow. You might not need the thickest pillow ever. Um, but if you have more of a rounded back, because you naturally are kind of there, there's some people that are naturally there, um, and you like, you like to sleep on your back, then you're gonna need a thicker pillow, because what you're looking to do is fill that space between your head and the bed whenever you lie down. That's, that's the critical key component here because what you need to do is rest your spine, rest your neck and upper back without letting your neck hang backwards or putting excessive pressure through your spine, through your upper back area whenever you lie back. So you're looking to fill that space between your head and the bed whenever you're on your back. It's a similar concept for when you're on your side. If you go lie down on your side, now there's a space between where your shoulder hits the bed and, and where your head, there, there's gonna be that gap between either your head and the bed and it's taken up by that space between your shoulder and your neck. So you're looking to get a pillow, if you're a side sleeper, that fills that gap. That tends to be a thicker pillow than if you were a back sleeper. So you just have to consider the sizes of it and, and the, the thickness of the pillow and also how much it gives because some pillows are real thick but you put your head on it and you sink down quite a bit so it ends up kind of being thin whenever you actually lie down on it. You have to just feel them when you, whenever you go purchase a pillow and see what's best for you. Now if you're a stomach sleeper, um, then you're, it can get a little confusing because if you're the type of stomach sleeper that you, you put your arm across your face and your head's turned to the side, um, then you probably don't need the thickest pillow or maybe you want a pillow kind of to hug because stomach sleepers tend to not sleep completely flat. They're kind of at an angle. So you, you need a pillow kind of under your chest or shoulder and, and you're gonna be turned off to the side. So you, do, you don't need the thickest pillow for that situation. Now some stomach sleepers are really more of a side sleeper but are towards their stomach. So that's a situation where you might need an even thicker pillow than, than if you're more flat. So you just have to consider how far away your head is from the bed in this situation. Now the next thing you want to consider is the filling of the pillow. You want to generally avoid the lumpy materials. So the lumpy materials are going to be uh, polyester and feathers or, or down is, is the other term that you'll see on pillow labels. The reason for avoiding the lumpiness is because if you're having a neck and shoulder problem, chances are you're going to be tossing and turning at night, probably subconsciously. You're not going to be even awake while you're doing it. And if you've got this lumpy pillow that you've been able to manage whenever you're not hurting because you can kind of just shove the pillow together and get, get the, all the polyester, all the feathers together in one spot and put your head on there and you sleep through the night for the most part. Or if you wake up, you can do it again. But now you've got this neck and shoulder problem, you want to get good quality rest. So you want the entire pillow to be about the same cushion. 
you want to avoid having those lumpy materials like down and polyester feathers because when you roll around, those lumps will be in position when you first start to go, go into sleep, but whenever you're starting to wake up and move around because your neck and shoulder are hurting you, then you're probably gonna roll off those lumps and you're not gonna get the best quality sleep. You wanna make sure that it's evenly distributed, the, the, the amount of cushion is evenly distributed and not just lumpy in one area where you started the night. The third factor here is consider having multiple pillows for different sleeping positions because you might start out on your back and you might need a thinner pillow in that instance and mid in the middle of the night you might turn on your side and and now you need a thicker pillow because the gap between the bed and your head while you're on your side from your shoulder is bigger than when you lie on your back so a, a, a thicker pillow that sustains its thickness is the best thing at that point the general idea is you want your spine to be straight. So if you lie on your side, you don't want your head hanging down towards the bed and your neck bending sideways. That's not going to be very good on your neck, especially if it's irritated and the shoulder as well. It's going to put more pressure on the shoulder you're lying on and it's going to stretch out the tissues on the opposite shoulder that's, that's up from the bed. So it's, it's just not a good situation to have your head hanging downwards. So get a thicker pillow and a thinner pillow. Now we here at the clinic have custom pillows. We have a, a special pillow called Pillow Wise and they come in six different sizes. They have, they have different color trim on them to indicate the sizes and they're shaped differently on each end. On one end they're, they're thinner, on the other end they're thicker and they are made out of memory foam so that they can evenly distribute the weight of your head or your shoulders, whatever you're resting on here. And so they're, they're designed so that when you lie on your back you can lie down on the thinner end and it's not pushing your head up so much and pushing your neck out of alignment. Or if you lie on your side, you can flip the pillow around and lie on the thicker end so that it fills that gap between your shoulder and your, uh, between the bed and your head where your shoulder's pushing your head away from the bed more. Um, and depending on how broad your shoulders are, depending on you know, your genetics, your, your exact sleeping position, because if you're not directly on your side then but, but you're kind of more leaning towards your back or leaning towards the front then you, you're going to want a thinner pillow because your head's going to be closer to the bed now here in the clinic these pillows that we have there there's six sizes and we custom fit each patient to them each patient that, that needs to get a pillow based on measurements we actually measure their neck circumference we measure the distance from their head to their shoulder and then we take other factors into consideration as far as how they sleep. We ask them a lot of these questions that I'm talking through with you right now so that we can best fit them to the pillow. And we found amazing results. And I just want to give you the caveats here. The results are great in that the patients are getting better quality sleep, but we're not solving a neck and shoulder problem. Pillows don't solve neck and shoulder problems. They merely allow you to get better sleep, which is critical if you're dealing with a neck and shoulder problem because the more you sleep, the better you can heal. And of course, the less grumpy you are and the overall healthier you'll be on, on other ends of your health, not just your neck and shoulder problem, your immune system is what I'm getting at. So if you get good quality sleep, you're putting yourself in a better position overall to fix the neck and shoulder problem. But if you've got a rotator cuff tear, an arthritis problem, a pinched nerve, other issues that can affect the neck and shoulder, then this pillow type or, or the, the, the pillows that we offer here, the pillows that I'm describing that you might go find at the store are not going to solve it. There's usually some underlying root problem, a muscle imbalance, some joints that are stuck, some other issues that need to be addressed so that your sleep can get better at night. Think of it this way. If you fell, you know, hopefully this doesn't ever happen to you, but if you fell really bad and skinned your knee on concrete or, or a road or something like that, and you just had this massive road rash, you know, say you had like a six inch circle of road rash on your knee, it would hurt tremendously, obviously. It would hurt even if you stayed still. If you were just lying down in bed at night and you just had road rash earlier that day, your knee would probably throb and hurt. And that's just how it's going to happen. That doesn't mean that you need a special pillow for it necessarily. It's healing right now. So you, you just need to give it time and it will heal. As it scabs over, as it goes through the healing process and eventually you develop a scar and your skin's fine and your knee's fine, then it's not going to bother you anymore. You don't have to worry about it. 
but while it's healing, it's going to kind of bother you. People that have rotator cuff tears or arthritis problems in their neck or pinched nerves, it's kind of like they have a fresh injury, like, like that road rash example that I'm telling you about. And it's just going to hurt and throb no matter what at night. So what you're looking for is getting in the most comfortable position possible so that you can get sleep. But what you have to be doing simultaneously is figuring out how to solve that pinched nerve, arthritis, rotator cuff tear, other neck and shoulder problem during the day so that it's not getting so irritated during the day so that at night you're able to rest better. So it matters more what you do during the day to solve your neck and shoulder problems so that your sleeping can become better and better over time. So I just want to make sure that you're approaching this correctly because we get patients in here all the time that swear they need a better pillow or even a mattress and they even go spend quite a bit of money on it, which is fine if you needed a mattress or pillow anyway. I'm not stopping you from doing it. I just want you to do it for the right reason. Make sure that you're looking to get it uh, uh, fixed. I want you to have I want you to be in a situation where you don't have to have surgery, you're not having to rely on medications to go to sleep at night, pain medications to get through the night. It's not a healthy thing for you to be doing. You need to solve that, that problem, the root of the problem, and it's usually done while you're awake. So that being said, choose your pillows wisely. Make sure that you understand that you're just looking at getting that extra hour or two of quality sleep. You're not looking to solve the, the whole neck problem or the whole shoulder problem. Hey guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you found that it was, give us a like right here. And also hit the subscribe button right over there so that you can get notified whenever we release great new health tips that can help you live a more active, healthy, and mobile lifestyle. Also, if you know anybody that's looking for a pillow, please share this video with them. Let them know how to get the best pillow for their situation so they can get better sleep and they can be a better friend to you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.